The modules have to be mounted quickly. The next customer is already waiting. The demand for solar collectors has never been this high before. Everyone wants to profit from German state subsidies. But increasingly, the units themselves aren't made in Germany. The panels for this system have come from China. For me, it was also a question of price. The Chinese modules simply cost a lot less than the European or German ones. Around 5,000 euros less for a setup for a single family home. The head of this solar collector installation company says that's why two out of three of his customers choose Chinese products. We can talk down China as much as we want, but we won't be able to stop Chinese companies from drawing even in terms of quality. We can't assume China is only able to make cheap goods. Berlin's Solon company, which produces solar modules and solar power plants, has been growing in leaps and bounds for years. It was also popular with investors. But in 2009, the company took a major hit when several large projects collapsed. The chief executive had to make way for a new financial and restructuring expert. He says the competition from Asia can be countered by high quality and good service. In the future, Solon is planning to provide a full range of services, from production to installation. He also has high hopes for exports. Germany will remain strong, but we're expecting stronger growth sales abroad. We think Italy will grow substantially in 2010 and France will develop as well. And we also expect growth rates to increase considerably in the U.S. Just a few blocks away, at the headquarters of Sulfur Cell, the facades covered with solar panels make a bold statement about the company's core competencies. The managing director says solar elements, whether on roofs or facades, are the wave of the future. We've integrated solar modules into the facades. This is a cold facade. It covers the insulation on the wall beneath it, giving the building a glass front without any distracting frames. A beautiful, homogeneous solar module that can also provide about 30 percent of an office's energy needs. Sulfacell is betting on cutting-edge thin film technology, which experts say will define the field in the years to come. Our camera was not allowed down on the factory floor. Years of research and development have gone into the new production facility, and industrial espionage is not uncommon. Expertise is the biggest edge the company has over competition from Asia. We have the most modern equipment here. We have a highly developed degree of automation. Our production processes are optimized. We're trying to reduce costs so dramatically that solar energy can be offered at a competitive price. Market share is still low, but the company says thin film modules could fuel major growth in the industry because of one major advantage over conventional systems. They produce power even when it's cloudy outside.